Hi player, welcome to Dublin Table Tennis. I'm coach Eddie Zayla. And before you watch this interview that I did with Gally on her Olympics journey and, and her whole thoughts of experience, make sure you share the love and hit a like button, get a hundred likes, and then release the other parts of the interview. We did a whole hour of conversation with all other topics. So share the love, let me know that you want to see the other segments, and yeah, just just play, have fun, and enjoy the game. Hi Table Tennis players, welcome back. I'm your coach, Eddie Zayla, and today at the Dublin Table Tennis Club channel, I have one of the most special guests so far. Not digging anyone else if I had, but I'm just so super excited to have this person with me today, joining all the way from Spain. Um, I'm not going to introduce, her, like, she's not going to introduce herself. Why? Because she's going to get a shy. I'm sorry, she's going to get shy. You have to understand that this individual right here lives, breeds, repeats table tennis on a daily basis, and she does it to the highest quality, to the passion, desire, and just the proudness of it all is just phenomenal. Great mentor, great leadership, and just great person to watch and uh, to grow from. She has started playing very young. Both her uh, parents are from international world scene, so you would think that she would have some expectations, some shoes to fill, but she took those shoes and she filled it up all the way. You know you're big if instead of going to like an under, underage disco, a 14, 15, 16, you're going to have to travel to Paris to play in world singles, t uh, world singles championships in ITTF. Like that is just, that is just levels. So this person is um, a person that's actually been to Ireland. Too bad she didn't, uh, we didn't get to catch up <laughs> to each other. This person is Galia Dvorak and she's Hello. an international player from Spain. And I'm going to stop talking right now because I'm getting too excited for you right now. <laughs> <laughs> Hello everybody. Hi, nice to meet you all. Is there anything you want to add to you to the resume? I didn't even call it a resume. I just like I got way too childish with the intro and I just got way too excited with the intro. Is there anything you want to add? Well, I mean, if when people ask me, I usually tell them that I've been playing table tennis for more than 25 years. And yeah, soon I will play my fourth Olympics. So I think that's kind of cool. And that's how she drops in. She does YouTube, so you can see how she just drops the plug. She does very <laughs> cliche. She's a YouTube channel, Ping Pong TV. I'm going to leave the link in the description. You can see it on the screen right now. Check it out. After the Olympics, she's going to go back into it, and you're going to see a lot of tutorials, tips, and tricks, and any beneficial stuff for you. She's going to upload it, and I hope you all enjoy it. It's a great channel. So as she plugged in the, the name, this video is going to be about her Olympic journey and her upcoming Olympic adventure that she's going to take part her fourth as she said she has seven national titles just just and i'm just going to drop that yeah let the mic drop because that is amazing she debuted in 2008 when she was 20 years old and now all these years later she's playing her fourth olympics fourth olympics she's 33 years young and she's playing fourth olympics <laughs> just <laughs> mad like to, to consider it, okay, this is some, sort of off topic, but you were top 12 uh, ranked in juniors when you were like 13, 14, 15 years old. Like, I have a sister at that age, and just to imagine that my little sister is going to be at that, like, would be at that level is just, is just bonkers. Like, I actually, before, off the camera, I actually told her something very interesting fact that she didn't know. She was so good. She was so, she is good, don't get me wrong. She's, she's amazing throughout her career. She's so brilliant that ITTF said, you know what? Gali hasn't really, you know, played a senior debut, you know, because she's like still a teenager. But let's give her a national rank. No, no, let's give her a world rank. Yeah, we're going to give her a 361st ranking in 2002 in April, and she's like a teenager, and she has never even played <laughs> yet at competition. That's how amazing she is, unbelievable. At that age, at that teenager, you're like top 400 player in the world. Yeah, <laughs> of course, like that was just <laughs> amazing. Being part of three Olympics so far already. How would you best describe and summarize your um, feelings to the event? Feelings? Yeah. Not the experience, um, but your feelings of the attendance, because it's a different concept to it. You know, this isn't just your individual. This is you know, country versus country. This is country representation. People who don't even watch table tennis can get behind you because you know, the support and um, Spain. For me, like uh, especially the the first time that I, I played the Olympics in, in Beijing, it was a big surprise how much I get the feeling of belonging to something, and not only to to my country or or whatever, to, of really fighting for my country, but also 
to to the Olympic movement and to 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 be part of a big big thing because like I'm so used to to be a table tennis player and despite I love the sport I'm so used that like people don't feel that it's that kind of a big deal unless they are from table tennis world and being at the Olympics and seeing so many sportsmen and sportswomen and so many athletes that had like similar journeys to you but from different parts of the world I felt like oh this is my people I'm kind of part of this big 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 thing so yeah, yeah this is like the, the the most like the biggest feeling that I, I have to say that it's different from any other competition for me so would that be also the way you describe what Olympic mean, games mean to you would that be a similar description to it uh yes kind of I mean for me also the Olympics it's I will not say it's the reason to keep playing, but there is one point in your career that you know that probably you will not get much better than, than what you are. That mm -hmm. if you keep practicing, you probably you are going to maintain. You know that probably you will not win like new titles or that you will continue be winning what you want. But as you are not improving, you will not win new things. So... Uh, Having the Olympics and having this this kind of competition every four years, it's also like a, a thing to look forward. Because at the end, when you, you've been playing so many years in national team and so on, everything is the same. Every year is the same. You have world championships, you have European championships, you have the national league, whatever. But then you have these Olympics, you know that you, you start your path, your journey four, four years in advance. Then you start the qualifying process, everything, and then finally when you qualify and you start the preparation, it's like this whole thing. So having the Olympics, it's also something that I think it's it's cool for the athletes to have a new thing to be looking forward all the time. So being part of three Olympics, I'm going to be speaking also in the near future with some Olympians that are going to play their first Olympics. So what advice would you give them? What's a quick little summary you would give them to um, to look forward to something, maybe not to re re you know regret something, maybe don't make a mistake. What would be that uh, that saying or that expression? My instruction would be that Olympics can be sometimes overwhelming, too many emotions, too many things going on, too many things to take care of, mm -hmm. like uh, preparation, like different bus schedules, a lot of security now with the extra of COVID measures and everything. So it's like a particularly stressful competition because also it's organized quite differently from other competitions and there is many more athletes and it, it's, it's just different. So my recommendation for them would be to try to not get caught, not get caught in all these things and not let them interfere and get you stressed because you just have to accept them. The Olympics, it's Olympics and it's like that. Don't get upset because the bus journey, it's I don't know how many hours. Just focus in your table tennis and, and, and enjoy your moment. And once you're done with it and your, your tournament finishes, then enjoy as much as you can the Olympic experience because there is, it's not only the competing. There is a lot of things to do in the village and meeting other sportsmen. And it's, it's quite unlucky that this year you, the athletes, we cannot go to watch other sports, but that's one of the coolest things at the Olympics, but still, being part of of the team, getting to know everybody from your delegation, um, talking to other sports people in the at the village, it's it's just cool. Mm -hmm. It's a world community. It's like Disneyland, mm -hmm. Disney World yes. in, in, a, in sports version. Yeah, but you you explained it very well. It's really like Disneyland in sport. Amazing. Totally amazing. I'm not jealous at all right now. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry about no, that. It know. was not my intention. <laughs> Oh my God! Yeah, but I mean, I liked it so much that I kept going yeah, to go again. Exactly. And again. Exactly. So, well, thank you for joining me. I really enjoyed that. That was that was amazing. That was absolutely amazing. I got goosebumps half the time. I was giddy the half the time. I was like, oh my God! Oh my God, oh my God. <laughs> I had a good laugh. Um, I'm gonna make sure that I'm near, nowhere near to you and join the Olympics. I like both of my arms. And uh, yeah, if I if I never hear from you, it means you're in airplane mode. Got it? Cool. 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 <laughs> Uh, I think that's yeah. We got we got to know you very deep. I'm sure that um, okay. everyone was looking forward to this, and I'm sure that everyone's gonna learn something new. I'm sure if your mom or dad watches this, they're gonna be, they're gonna be like, 
I never <laughs> say these things to me on the phone. What did you say to this guy? <laughs> and then go back. No, 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 I don't care. Go back. <laughs> That's brilliant. Thank you so much for joining me. I know you're very busy, especially because as, as a day of shooting, you're flying out in like, was it six days, nine days, or give or take, like a week ish? Yeah. Um, one week or less. Yeah. yeah. Amazing. But soon. thank you so it's much. Very for, soon. Yeah. Thank you so much for taking your, uh, taking your time for me. Um, yeah. Again, you can check it out on all our socials. You can see it below. Again, her channels below as well with her co host. She'll be uploading. She has great content over there. She's very friendly. So if you ever see her in the tournament, say hi. Um, but if she's in airplane <laughs> mode, put like a like a two meter social distancing, you know, just in case. I'm just doing you a favor. <laughs> I'm doing you a favor. And uh, yeah, that was that was amazing. Thank you so much for enjoying, guys. Players, if you enjoyed this video, leave a like, leave a share so everyone can see this. If you have any comments for next video, leave them below. If you have any questions for Galia, um, you know, ask me first and i'll ask her just in case you know <laughs> there's, a, there's a there's a communication process going on and but yeah. i think maybe they could tag me no in the questions yeah, if they can, the questions are in youtube tag, they could yeah. tag me mm -hmm. they can tag on the, the ping pong tv or your instagram mm -hmm. app on yeah. it and uh, yeah players make sure you stay safe and just remember enjoy have fun and i'll see you next time